Welcome YouTube, I'm Gaming Stubbs and this is another episode to my Minecraft Secret and Secure series, part 4 I believe. Okay, this is another case of um, secret door in storage room. And no, I haven't got another secret door here, or anything. So I haven't used brewing stands, chests, I don't believe you can use chests or brewing stands actually, or if you use brewing stands it's hard to. I haven't got a secret door in my furnaces again. And for those who have spotted it, yes, I've got a button there. I probably could hide it better, but yeah, I'll leave that um, that bit of hiding to you. But I have had this on a server before. I have um, been in the right place at the right time to be able to uh, someone leaving a clan. I've been able to nick their um, armory with their warehouse, and there was an unlimited water source in it, just like this. And I decided to make a secret room. Okay, and this is where I was building it. I should have filled that in. Okay, secret room. Of course, I I'll show you what how to do the door in a minute. Um, secret room needs a couple of chests for armor, um, swords, anything to make your armor and swords like put iron gold and all of that and potions anything that help you fight um anyone that could be hiding up there ready to try and kill you also some a few furnaces that should be fully stocked also to uh smelt stuff that could help you try and kill people or cook food also if you're wondering why there's dirt here yeah that's gonna be like usually that would be doors uh, but I'm in flatlands and I can't be arsed. I'm very lazy. Might as well fill these back up with bricks now. Um, yeah, I'm in flatlands, very lazy. And usually I'd have, um, say, a wheat farm and a melon farm. Just so you can get a load of food in case you've run out when you came down here. Okay. So you're thinking, oh, all I've got is button down up here and up here. And that was a complete foul. Look. And that's broken, ain't it? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I've done. Okay. This is a foul. Uh, admit admittedly, I've already tried to uh, record this episode once. And that was a foul. You see, that's close up there now. And look, no water here. That's because I've used something called a T flip-flop. For those um, people who haven't heard of it, what it does, it allows me to use two buttons as if they were levers so I can have two inputs as if it was one lever so I can turn it on then pistons on or off from just one uh, button or I could use the other button so I can lock that also I've got a slight delay so that takes a few uh, couple, about a second or two to open now to show you all this wiring Yep, underground, you've got to make sure you're not um, allowing it to um, interact with each other so you're not making any more problems for it. Okay, what I changed a minute ago, the, there was wiring here originally, but redstone power's got to go into that block, so any um, interaction with redstone power could mess it up. And it could keep... Um, if power goes into that, it will power this piston uh, to move the blocks across, which there's a torch under there powering that wire. So as soon as you power that block, it will power that redstone so it can make a complete current, which was a complete failure to me. I should have realised that, but it's trial and error sort of thing. Um, so when you turn on a button, let's just place one there just to show you it makes the pistons go across and the way it's worked it only only one piece the blocks push um, the both blocks are pushed across at once and so it doesn't try and push it back there and all that uh, it's hard to explain yeah pretty much that it works it so it doesn't keep doing that because of the delay to the um, uh, it's hard to explain <laughs> I'm not even going to try and explain it actually yeah, so 
that's where the bottom is from up here. Got three um, repeaters delaying that. And in fact, because down here you've got to have another one just in... Uh, uh, yeah, because there's about 16 blocks eventually by the time it gets to the... Um, actually where it needs the power. So if I have all four of them on full delay, they will... It will take a while for it to open. Of course, not ages, but it's enough to make most people maybe walk away. Probably not, to be honest. Um, and also, if you've hit the button behind the block, it gives you a um, bit of time with it still open before you can put the, um, while you're putting the block back. So let's get back here. To make this flatter, instead of just running some normal um, dust up one block higher, I've had to use repeaters to feed the power in. Because um, when it's the, when the repeat the dust are at the same level as the, uh, the pistons, it don't feed in the power. Um, unless you have, if you had a piston there, it would because it would be um, going straight into it. So when you've got two next to each other, it don't work like that, sadly. Um, but yeah, again, that isn't here. And same on this side. If I'd had it one block higher, look what would have happened. It would be under that. And luckily enough, I've got furnace there, so it wouldn't have affected me too much. Um, but for most people, it probably will, unless you have the furnaces there. So... Um, and the way you make this T flip flop, I, I, th it's a, I think it's the T flip flop. Several different letter flip flops. Don't get what the classification is for them. Let's just put that. In there. Actually, I'll show you how to make one from scratch. Okay, if I make this input, and if I place a few dust there, you can see that's powering it. I dig a free um I dig a free wide trench, put dust on this side and repeat on that side, no delay. Whether it, if it has a delay it'll affect it, I don't know, to be honest, I haven't tested it like that. Two normal um pistons which makes it so it's not which means it's not too dear. Um so it doesn't start using up random pistons and all that. Put a dust down there actually no why am I putting a block there yet yeah, another foul um, put that there as you see it doesn't feed into that because of um, the in fact it's a repeater and all that see that's the, that's the main reason there's a repeater there um, I think yeah and of course this just to show you that it's working Actually, why am I doing that? I need the sticky piston. Just to show you it's working, put a block there. So when I do that... Only th that one of the good things as well, you can't spam it to annoy people. Uh, like, well, people can't spam it to annoy you. Because the fact the button has to turn off before you press it again. Um, also, you can't accidentally... Um, lock it and unlock it within like a second like you can do with a um, lever with a lever or whatever it is however you pronounce it okay I think that's it um, no in me it's not just to actually give a little um, information on here as I said about the things you'd want in a room like this also something good to be covering it uh, lava um, it makes it a little suspicious having a little square pool of lava. So try and have it slightly odd shaped. Because if it's a square pool of lava and someone x-rays, which is the whole point of lava, though it can be filtered out in certain x-rays, but only top ones like, I think Nodus can probably filter it out. But if you do lava to make it anti-x-ray, yeah, you, you're going to want to... Uh, make it slightly oddly shaped so people don't realise a square pool of lava that's strange because Minecraft doesn't tend to do it like square pool of lava it's just yeah it, if they found a square pool of lava I'm sure most people would be shocked um, 
But yeah, and also, I put obsidian around it because no one can explode into it, no one can use pistons to get into it. The only way they can get into it is if they've... Uh, if there's no block protection and they've, for some strange reason, brought a diamond pick on a raid, which most people don't do because um, just the fact you could um, easily die on a raid, especially if you've got a lot of um, little tricks up your sleeve. So, I've been Gaming Stubbers. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Yeah, I know I failed, so you don't even need to tell me that. <laughs> um, and please tell me what you like, dislike about the video. Any um, any advice is good advice, to be honest. As long as you're not saying, oh, you're crap. That doesn't really help me too much. So please tell me what you think. It, it helps everything you say. Also, if you like this series, please tell me, because I'm more likely to carry on doing it. So, I've been Gaming Stubbers. Until next time, peace out.